Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm John A and I'm back with another video. Whoop, whoop. So today's video is going to be about my skin since I got off this, this pescatarian diet. So as you guys know, I was pescatarian for like four months. Um, and prior to that, and, and then I was, I also hadn't eaten red meat in about seven months. But wait, but, but wait. Before we get into this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video, okay? Because we we on a road to 100, right? All right, so let's get it. I'm going to pause it right here. Y'all already know. Pause it right here. Pause. So I did that, and then just a few weeks ago, I went back to normal. And I did it for health reasons, as I shared. I need the nutrients from the meat. But guess what happened, y'all? I broke out badly. Like, it's getting better. I went to the dermatologist. Still bad, but it's getting better. I'm going to insert some pictures. So, yeah. So, although I went back to eating meat for health reasons to get the nutrients from my body and my immune system my skin reacted okay and this is what my skin did that's crazy my skin was just just acting up it's it was terrible i really didn't want to leave the house or anything i had like white heads just rough textured little bumps on my face i did have a few here those have disappeared this one was was the biggest one but it was mostly like here and then like all of this my neck just a few bumps here not too many maybe one eyebrow one but mainly like this area of, of my body so I'm like okay so maybe meat was the thing that was causing my skin to be an issue because when I went pescatarian I didn't have any issues you know with my skin I wasn't using any medication on my skin I was just using soap water moisturizer shea butter <laughs> so i'm like okay it's it's the meat it has to be the meat but then my friend reminded me she was like well when we were on a cruise in december you was eating everything and your skin was fine and i was like you're right i was i'm like maybe it's not the meat but then now that i'm thinking about it, it just came to my head now that i'm thinking about it i was also using medication acne medication from the dermatologist to help my skin so here's the thing so all this time meat possibly has been the culprit to my acne i mean i got other stuff going on that contributes to my acne or whatever but i think meat is the primary source either that or digestion because so because also when i went back to eating meat i noticed my body wasn't digesting it as well like i was getting indigestion really really badly y'all like sis I, I felt like I couldn't breathe sometimes because my body was just having issues digesting it and it was triggering my acid reflux and it was triggering my asthma it was bad so I'm like okay maybe it's just that it's it's learning how to digest meat again or it's just the meat so am I gonna stop eating meat for the sake of my skin no I still need the nutrients for my immune system and the dermatologist stuff seems to be helping. I think I've only been using it for a week and I've already had some improvements. And what the dermatologist gave me is tretinoin gel, point, I think it's 0.025 or 0.25% tretinoin at night and then clindamycin in the morning. Personally, I don't like it. I like the old stuff he gave me better, which was clindamycin phosphate tretinoin gel. It was just a comp those, those two combined in one, but he was like, oh, insurances don't really cover it anymore. So he gave me two separate ones. I don't really like it. And it actually burns my skin. And I have to, and I put like shea butter on my nose before I did the tretinoin. And I have to put stuff around here because this gets really irritated. And my allergies are also bad. So blowing my nose constantly is irritating it too. So I don't really like it, but it's helping. This is already flattened, and this was huge before. 
so that's where we at and then he also told me to use vanity cream so this is my regimen this is my oh and you know what else he told me he said no exfoliants no oils no no scrubs no 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 there's something else he told me not to do that people typically do to their skin but he said don't do any of that that's what aggravates acne um for people without acne they can do all that but you cannot do it it's just gonna make it it's gonna aggravate it and make it inflamed and you're gonna create more and i'm like dag like i can't even put my shea butter i'm gonna probably try my shea butter on my skin in a few days because i feel like the shea butter really evens out my skin tone makes it soft and supple and all that and i was doing it before i mean i had a few breakouts but it wasn't bad so and shea butter is mostly non-comedogenic which he said that it all that stuff's comedogenic he don't maybe he don't know okay because i mean i'm gonna try it and i'm gonna tell you how it goes no, but listen to me look at but he told me don't do any of that just do a simple Oh, and don't wash your face with hands, which I don't do anyways. I use a silicone scrubber, which is available on my website. So go ahead and shop at perfectlyflawed.com slash shop to get you one. It's my favorite thing. I've been using them for years now. Um, anyways, oh, I have them in pink and blue. So go ahead and buy you one if you want one. Oh, toner. He said don't use any toners. It's not good for people with acne. It's just going to make it worse. It doesn't really help. That's what the other thing. But he told me don't do any of that. So this is my regimen. So morning. I have to wash my face and I wash it with CeraVe. But anyways, so I use the CeraVe foaming facial cleanser and then I use the clindamycin gel and then I use the CeraVe um, morning moisturizer with SPF in it and I mix it a little bit with Vanny Cream. Vanny Cream is this non-comedogenic moisturizer. Uh, where does it say that at? non-comedogenic does not cause blackheads he told me to use vanity cream so that's what i'm using it just says blackheads it didn't say other stuff but anyways i use vanity cream and i mix it with this because i feel like i feel like this alone it makes my skin glow a little bit but that stuff is so drying to my skin i need a little extra mm, little extra moisture so i use vanity cream with it and then at night what i do is um take my eyebrows off with oil um and then i wash my face with the same moist the same facial cleanser and then i put on the vanny cream and these are the instructions he gave me on my face and then the tretinoin and a little goes a long way is what he said but that tretinoin is really hard to spread the clindamycin isn't but the tretinoin is so that's my regimen now We'll see how this goes, but I cannot believe I went back to eating meat and then I started looking crazy again. It just baffled me. It just baffled me. That's what happened and I'm going to keep you guys posted on that, on this journey. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video, this update. So meat can cause breakouts, y'all. It's it's our diet. It's, our, it's in our diet. It's... It's not necessarily just what we put on our face, but it's what we put in our bodies. So I'm also going to try to lighten up on the carbs and the sugars. And I told you I'm going to try to eat clean. Maybe that'll help too and speed up the process. Also, the dermatologist can give you an oral antibiotic. I just always opt out. I don't really like medications or putting all those like, you know, synthetic things in me or whatever. And chemicals i don't really like doing all that so i opted out and plus when i've done it in the past i'm sure it's a particular medication it made my skin really itchy and this acne is itchy y'all but that's all i have for you guys so i'll keep you posted and thank you for watching the video don't i mean make sure you like comment and subscribe and get us to a hundred all right all right <laughs> see you guys